Hello everyone and welcome to Ailey Tutorials. Today we're going to learn how to make a simple person illustration, much like the one you see here. You're going to notice that all the shapes around here are rounded. There's about seven of them, including the head. So, first, let's move it to our next layer. First, we're going to use the line segment tool and we're going to figure out how to uh, select the right size, figure out how to round this. So, usually there's no rounded caps when you make a line. Alt shift to move it. If you select both of these and you go to stroke you can choose the cap to be rounded and there you have your rounded shape. Another way to get this rounded shape is to make a rectangle roughly around the same length as the other one and just switch that copy and then you can go to effect stylize and round corners. And choose a small value, look at the preview, and you'll see that your corners are nice and rounded. But obviously the best way is just to use your rounded rectangle tool. Now, you're going to be making the legs at this point. You want them to be long and slender, and you want them to be spaced fairly close to each other, not too much of a thigh gap. Let's get rid of these. Now we're going to make the torso. The torso will extend from the top to the halfway point. Alright, there. There we go. Next, we're going to make the arms. And the arms, we want them to be about the same thickness as the legs. And just above the bottom of the torso. So, about yay high. Should be alright. I'm just going to move that out. And copy it to the other side. There we go. Now, don't worry about adjustments too much. We're going to select everything. Well, select the arms. And we're going to group them. Control G and select the legs. We'll group them. And then we're just going to align everything to itself. So everything is nice in alignment. Get rid of that little one I forgot about in the middle. Now we're going to do the shoulders. So grab another round rectangle. Split it across a bit thicker than your arms. And now you're going to have to move it a little bit upwards. Because otherwise your arms are going to stick out the sides here on the zoom in so right here you see everything is nice and flush and the last little bit is to make the head hold shift create your ellipse and then once again center it and that's how you make a simple person uh, illustration thank you